He has Crocs on. Yeah, I'm gonna have Crocs on. And they're glorious. <laughs> How's it going guys, Archer Black C here. And uh, this is gonna be a little more of a mm, not as happy tone video as I have, or as I'm accustomed to doing on this channel. Um, because there's a couple different things going around. There's some cool stuff. Uh, but the first thing I want to get around to, and you probably saw it in the title of the video, Kmart is advertising uh, Diamond Bakugan on their website for MSRP value. And um, a lot of people got really excited about that, and a bunch of people bought a bunch of diamonds. Sadly, it is turning out to uh, be that that is not the case. Um, people are getting them shipped in. Well, first off, um, we didn't know if the people who ordered online would get the same treatment because a lot of people like went to the store after seeing the ad and uh, either not getting it or not seeing it or something like that. Um, then the question was, well, what about the people who ordered online? Those people apparently are also getting ripped off and are getting sent just random Bakugan. Um, <laughs> we uh, are a part of that group. Uh, we actually didn't receive ours yet, but you can bet that I'm just going to be sending them right back because I already have everything. Um, so. This is my message to Bakugan and Kmart. Um, I'm going to tag both of you on Twitter and maybe you can hash this out. But Bakugan team, Spin Master, this is very unacceptable. Um, Y'all need to go tell the Kmart people, I don't know, tell your distributors, do something to fix it. It is absolutely unacceptable that you have fans now going, looking for these diamonds, getting so excited. I spent, what, 70 something dollars or something? 77 dollars. On a bunch of Bakugan thinking I'm going to be getting what I'm advertised and I get a bunch of not that okay completely unacceptable and I think this needs to be hashed out in the uh, boardroom or something I don't know what y'all do over there spin master but you need to get this fixed and I don't say angry things like this all the time my name is Raging Cajun and I don't do that very often uh, but right now I'm kind of mad because I did spend a lot of money I'm gonna send it back and I very much expect a full refund um, and if I don't get that, there's going to be some issues. Uh, so, um, my people who watch me who are at Spin Master, uh, if you want to do it as a friend for me, please get this done. It's actually, it's, it's absolutely unacceptable and I, and I can't stand it. All right. In some lighter news, uh, we have, well, I'm going to turn it dark again, but we do have some cool, uh, leaks from the new, uh, card set, uh, Age of Orlis. Um, there were some earlier and I didn't really cover them on the channel. Once again, I was busy and stuff. I'm pretty sure I talked about them on Twitter, so if you want to go check that out, go check it out. Uh, somebody had gotten in a card pack and opened up, and we saw like nine cards from the new set. It was really cool. Um, that happened again, um, and we're going to talk about them here in a second. But before that starts, another thing I want to get off my chest, and maybe it's because I'm late at night and I uh, just saw Spider-Man, so I'm feeling really uh, spunky tonight. Um, if you, <laughs> if you are going to post something on the internet, on Discord, on Twitter, on anything, on the Reddit, and expect it not to go anywhere other than where you posted it, you, I'm sorry, are a fool. And it's, it's, it's mind-boggling to me that this is an issue right now. Um, I'm a member of the Brawler Cafe Discord. I know we have, we've been like at our odds sometimes, but like me, Hunter, and uh, Latherna and Lycan, we kind of work ourselves out and, you know, we're okay. Um, but I just see that people are posting stuff in there and then asking them to take it down or remove a Twitter post. It's, it's crazy to me. We, we can't be doing that. If you don't want it to go anywhere, don't post it anywhere. Now, I'm not going to say any names, but I am going to talk about this stuff because it's very important and the people who love this game want to see it. Thank you for showing it to us because people like me, I love leaks. I thrive off of it. I'm a Pokemon guy. Pokemon leaks stuff every week for the next set that's coming out in Japan, and we love it. We expect it. So if this is a normal occurring thing, it's not a bad thing. But if you're the person posting these stuff, Please think about what you're doing beforehand, and don't ask to have it taken down after the fact. Uh, it, it's just it's just like a sign of weakness to me. I don't know. I don't like it. So, last last uh, last deep dark note there. Uh, let's move on to these cool cards. Let's talk about them here real quick. First one we have is a Auralis hero card, and it's really cool. Um, it's Magnus, Living Arm of Tico. 
Uh, I guess I should have said earlier that this was spoilers for the anime. <laughs> Big time spoilers for the anime because we have nothing of this yet. Tico is this really mysterious Bakugan that we've seen and he's like the Orlis like bad guy and he's got like this dark hue around him and it's really crazy stuff. But now we have Magnus like controlling him with something. He's got like a ball in his hand and it looks like his eye has like turned like yellow. Like maybe Tico's controlling him or something. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. He has like his mask on so now he has like a yellow eye and a red eye. I don't know, it's going to be kind of cool. Um, which tells me that the show's going to be getting interesting. But card wise, let's talk about it. So it's a three cost and it's a hero and it's Orlis. I don't know, it, it might have been confirmed already if Orlis cards are going to be like splashable or if you're going to be able to put them like in any deck or anything like that if you don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, it says, when you play a card with Battle Mastery, you can choose both. Um, pretty straightforward, but if you don't know what Battle Mastery is yet, so the new Orlis faction has its own little trait. So like, Ventus has Turbo, Darkus has, uh, what's it called? Sacrifice! Sacrifice! <laughs> Darkus has Sacrifice! Um, and stuff like that. Aquas has Flow and stuff. Anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. So Orlis is looking like it's going to be having this thing called Battle Mastery, and usually what that means, it says Battle Mastery, cool, and choose both. And it gives you two options, normally like, or not normally, we don't know, but uh, off of the ones that we've seen so far, it's like B power or attack power. And it's like, choose one or the other. If you have Magnus living uh, Arm of Tico out, and it's a hero, so it stays out, and it's a three cost, which is pretty cool, uh, you can choose both. Um, it says you may choose both if you don't want it, so that's kind of cool too. Um, so that's really interesting. We haven't seen too many of these Orlis cards or anything yet. Um, I think we've seen like maybe five, uh, three, three that aren't like characters. So this is a really cool first look into this new set. Um, so we're going to talk about the next card. And the next one I am very excited about. This is, uh, something really crazy. I don't know if this is a problem yet. Uh, but I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. This is Titan Hydronoid Ultra at four cost and that is insane to me. I don't want to say power creep because I don't want to wish it upon itself. Uh, but what are you pointing at? Visual? It's a common. Yeah, it's a common. It's a common four cost with 200 B power, nothing great. Eight attack, already great. If it lands on a red fist, which the core Bakugan holds itself, not the core, the, the actual uh, character card holds itself as two red fists, it gets plus 2,000 B power. This is insane. This is like playing Dan on a Titan Drago kind of deal level of B power increase. Now, you don't have a very good base stat line, but if you're landing on a red fist, you're getting, what, 250? And then plus three? So you're going to be sitting at uh, 2,450 and uh, 11 damage, which puts you way above like uh, Chaos Titan Nilius, which I, I think it actually puts it 100 above Chaos Titan Nilius, which um, that's like one of the best cards in the game right now, uh, just B power wise and being able to do it consistently. And that requires you landing on a magic shield, being able to pick up another magic shield with either consort or its ability, or you can pick up a magic shield with, another, with its ability, pick up another one and get consort. And this thing is still really close. And all it has to do is open on one single core. That's insane. I've been rolling around Hydronoid. He doesn't really have a good double pickup ratio um, compared to things like uh, Nilius Ultra or anything like that. So it's not, too crazy, but you can always just play other cards, play it with Aquas and play Wave Slash, get the flow, add another thousand to this. What are you gonna do about it? Um, it's insane. Now, obviously, the obvious answers to this are like Inferno Wings, Hot Potato, uh, the new flip card Confuse that gets rid of, or stops uh, things landing on Red Fist, which also stops things on Magic Shield, which is very versatile. So it actually stops this and uh, <clears throat> Chaos Titan Nilius. So. Um, that's something really cool, but just looking at this card. It's gorgeous. It looks like King Ghidorah, and it's the new King of Bakugan to me, okay? So, uh, last we're going to talk about these next two flip cards. Our last two are these two flip cards. I'll throw them up here. Uh, nothing too crazy, but Fierce Charge is an Auralist flip card that is basically our Auralist stop outsiders. So now, this kind of sets in stone that <clears throat> Auralist is its own faction to me. Uh, it's, it's a stop non-Oralist flip card. So that kind of cements it into being its own thing. 
Um, so like everybody else has the, except it doesn't say anything halt outsiders or stop outsiders like the other ones do. So it's different. I don't know if, I, I'm assuming they did that on purpose. So um, anyway guys, those are the reveals. Sorry for the first half of this video being kind of down. Um, I don't normally do this kind of stuff, but it's, again, it's late at night and I saw Spider-Man, so I'm feeling spunky, so I thought I'd yell at some people a little bit. <laughs> but Kmart, get your stuff together, okay? It's actually insane that you're doing this. And Bakugan, you need to get on that. You need to. Spin Master, y'all treat me very nice. I have all these cool, nice things. It, 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 this is my point in time where I need to ask you to do something for us because it's absolutely insane that this is even happening. So, I hope you guys can do that for us. Anyway, for my loyal fans who are watching this video, <clears throat> fighting the algorithm with me, thank you for watching. Um, I tried to make this uh, as interesting and shortcut as possible. I hope you like the new cards. I think they're actually really cool. I'm really excited for them. I'm just, I love leaks. So um, I, don't, I try not to post them because I know some people don't like them too much, but these are really insane and the new Hydranoid is just fantastic and I just had to talk about it. So thank you guys for watching again. If you like this video, like it, share it around so that we can get this Kmart message around. Um, I don't want anybody having to go through this like bull crap again. It's just really, really sad. So uh, do that for me and tell your friends so it doesn't have to happen to them. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.